Uh, you can think of Starlink as filling in the gaps between uh, 5G uh, and uh, fiber, and um, and really getting to the parts of the world that are the the hardest to reach, the the, the, the most difficult to reach. Uh, 3%, possibly 5%. What's the haps, guys, and welcome back to yet another great video on our channel. Starlink by Elon Musk's SpaceX was given early access to the public a few months back and has been making headlines ever since then. The remote users seem content with the fast internet service and intend to use it for a long time. On the other hand, Starlink has been facing several challenges in the form of restrictions by China, changes by SpaceX, and the idea to provide services globally. Let's have a look at the Starlink news of 2021. Number 4. Reviews of Starlink by the early users Now what we have been using has been one of the Verizon jetpacks. Um, they only give you a certain number of gigabytes um, of um, fast data before they throttle you. The Starlink service was launched just a couple of months back and is acquired by more than 10,000 users as of now. 13 US states and Canada were surveyed for reviews. The broadband service is used by people residing in remote areas or with limited access to broadband services. According to them, this beta service charges $99 a month. It's cheaper than some of the other services and is also much faster. The speed is better than the wired networks and cellular hotspots that they normally use. The speed is 100 Mbps and will soon cross 300 Mbps in the coming time. Many of the users desire to use it for a longer period. Number 3. Legal Challenges Faced by Starlink's Internet New Constellation it stops broadband internet providers from using monopolistic pricing strategies in a number of areas by giving an excellent solution for internet access in remote areas. In April of 2021, SpaceX made new modifications to Starlink and got approval for the same from the US Federal Communication Commission. The new modification called for the use of broadband service via low Earth orbit satellite. This means that the new Starlink satellites will operate at a much lower altitude of approximately 1,100 to 1,300 kilometers. More than 2,000 Starlink satellites will operate at this height. However, the competitors Viasat and Dish Network Corp. don't seem enthralled with that idea. They've appealed to the United States courts to deem the permission granted as unlawful. As a part of their argument, they called out the approval by FCC as treachery and against the laws of satellite agencies. It also contradicts the rules set out by the National Environment Policy Act, or NEPA. Viasec, particularly, is the most to be harmed by Starlink's modification. They fear they will collide with the debris that is attributed to the Starlink satellites and might even have interference with one another. The winner of this space race is yet to be known. Until the decision comes, every procedure is halted for the moment. Number 2. Expectation to provide global coverage by September Starlink could provide global satellite internet coverage as soon as September. And look, we're already almost into July. Gwyn Shotwell, president of Starlink, announced that by September 2021, Starlink is expected to provide its satellite services globally. This will be accomplished by seeking official regulatory approval. More than 1,800 satellites have been deployed into space. Upon reaching their respective operational orbit, they'll be able to provide global coverage continuously. The process is not easy and requires permission from the telecom services of each country. For now, the beta services launched by Starlink are offered in only 11 countries. The month of May alone received more than 500,000 pre-orders by various countries for the fastest internet service. So far, no technical problem has been reported to SpaceX and they seem to be going on the right track. As per the president, SpaceX will launch a total of 12,000 satellites worth $10 billion. Number 1. China preparing to compete with their orbital internet. The company has launched more than a thousand satellites to build a network called Starlink, aimed at bringing faster connections to billions of people. Many companies and countries have been investing a fortune in broadband services. They intend to deliver services via low Earth orbit satellites. 
and Elon Musk is one of them. He's been investing in SpaceX to roll out Starlink since 2015. It was only in 2020 that the business started to escalate. Starlink has already rolled out more than 1,000 satellites and has received a good response from the users operating it in remote areas. However, it can soon face competition from China. A Chinese company, SatNet, has been financing the technology to roll out a similar constellation as that of Starlink. Although the development process is still at its early age, it can still offer good competition. The purpose of this development can be from a government perspective that is to give a tough time to the US state. So do let us know how excited you are to be able to use Starlink's global internet service in September 2021. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show us your appreciation by smashing that like button. And if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon if you want to catch up on more videos like this in the future. And as usual, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!